You love saying home. Oh my God. Um, I wanted to play rock. Or no more. Fags. Well, yeah. I, I did some, some, whatever. No one would talk. They sent me to Coventry. Yeah, I, I do too. No, I was never an alcoholic, but I was a big drug addict. Um, he had custody taken away from him when I was three. Here, I went back to Liverpool. Um, I, uh... You know, I have all these friends that know the producer, Lee Daniels, and he's a wonderful man and a great director. Well, heroin's so ghetto over here, you know. a bunk. I just like to go, like, drive through weird parts of the world. Because um, I acted about 10 years ago. Yeah, I, I did. I felt pretty confident. Good. And uh, I visited you a few times. You're in paradigm. You're setting your own limits. Like, this is what I'm going to tell you, this is what I'm not going to tell you. No, 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 yeah. no, no. It's sort of like being in the womb. Because, I mean, I always take the back room. Well, um, I started to want to get back into acting. I don't go near guys with tattoos. <laughs> he really wanted to talk about money, which was great, because I got to talk about lawyers all I wanted to, as long as I didn't say their last name. And all the lawyers that were talking about, David and John and Howard, they were, they called me like, Courtney's talking about me on Howard. Oh, all of it, just all of it. Uh, it's pretty much every interview. I suppose so. Um, no. no. I just do this. Well, there's nothing probably I like better in the world than being in the back of a bus while it, at night while it's rocking. My God! You know, Dave's an ass. Chris, I'm disappointed in. But I would absolutely not have a problem if there wasn't such a major financial issue. Yeah, but... A lot of people get very into, I mean, the name of my band arises from a conversation that I had with my mother. It's not, people oh. always think it's obscene, and I guess it has that entendre, and as a poet, as somebody who always wanted to be a poet, and there's no money in it. I am in touch with them, I you love saying that. I'm 95. So I'm torn between the two places. Uh, yeah. And they started behaving. It was great. I think I might go, start going on Howard once a month or something. Makes me angry. If you were to see my home, if you were to see, I don't know, my wardrobe, if you were to see the kind of men that I dated, you'd be like, what? That guy's in a suit. He's seeing huge guilt. And another part of me that's like, forget it. It's not really work. The pros like that. Yes. I'm an excellent mother. Here's my trick. I'll tell you my old trick. Really, I mean, I've had inter uh, interactions with him. You are more like altercations with him. Yeah, <laughs> drugs, drugs, more drugs, peanuts, drugs. And not wanting either. And I absolutely relate to it. It's like kind of like being on drugs. So. What a question. No. I don't know my fa my biological father. Well, there's not a lot on Kitty. There's like four photos, a little tiny clip of video. So I kind of had to like make her up. I had to give up my passport in order for me to get back after I realized what was really going on. I turned myself in for deportation. I have a daughter. Well, I was watching this um, really old um, interview with Iggy Pop. He said in this interview that when he was in front of an audience that it was a feeling of no pain and no pleasure. I mean, my whole thing with them is, is totally financial. And it makes me just want to just flip them the bird. It, she, it looks a bit like a diaper. Yeah. She, uh, she, her name is Elle Dallas, and she has sold a lot more records than me. She sold uh, 150 million records thereabouts. And uh, he wasn't allowed to see me at all. So I texted him, and a minute later he called me, and he said, I, I think I have a role for you. Mm -hmm. No, I, well, I did once. And, and I read as many books as I could. We kind of got the point that she was, you know, in life, not happy. Um, and then I have, have stripped erratically over the years, yes. But at 15, I went to Japan. And I remember I called my mother from Japan, and I'm like, I'm in Japan, and I'm stripping, and she didn't believe me. You know, I remember I went back to Liverpool, and uh, I'd been in L.A., and it was de-rigor. It was de-rigor to do heroin in L.A. It was so cool. Yes, I was the first child, and also I was the child of a man that uh, repulsed her. As though everything they testified to was true. I've always been looking for the quadruple entendre, you know, the bard, you know, what Shakespeare could do. And my mother said to me, now, Courtney, you know, you just can't walk around with a hole in yourself because you had a bad childhood. 
I directed Precious, The Butler. And I remember thinking, what a brilliant name. Oh. We like to do art together. We like to play guitar together. We hang out a lot. She's a great kid. Pretend that I don't write music. Just by not exploiting her too much, just by not letting her get photographed that much and giving her a normal childhood as normal as possible for living in Beverly Hills. More catharsis. It's catharsis. And there's not a thing I, I could or would take back because it was for me, not for them. And yet they get something out of it. I can think of far worse things to do with my Monday night or Tuesday. You know, I was reading, um, and it's a reimagining of the case. Not clean. This is not rude either. <laughs> This is my natural state of handness. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, what really saved me, obviously, was uh, going to meetings and stuff like that, but uh, I'm a Buddhist. I chant, and I, I'm really serious about it. I don't, I'm not a clown. I would never dishonor my husband, and I don't think I have. Well, it's uh, taken from the transcripts of the trial. So, um, the... Uh Ignore it? Do I acknowledge it? Is there a middle ground? What can I do? Do I sit here and, you know, play Betty Crocker? Just tell her to follow her heart and do what she wants to do. You know, she wants to do art, she wants to do music.